Context clues. Context is the words and sentences around a word. Context clues are words that help you understand the meaning of an unfamiliar word. Sometimes context clues give a definition of the word. Other times they give an example that helps you understand the word's meaning. Context clues may also help you make an inference or a smart guess about the word's meaning. Let's look at the first example. Number one, the hedgehog is an omnivore with a diet of both meat and plants. Now, the sentence says that a hedgehog is an omnivore. I'm not sure what the word omnivore means. I can look for context clues in the sentence to help me understand. Context clues might appear near the word in the same sentence or in another sentence. However, we only have one sentence here, so let's see if any of the words in this sentence will give us some helpful clues. I see a clue in the sentence with a diet of both meat and plants. That tells me that the hedgehog, who is an omnivore, eats food that it comes from more than one food source. So omnivore must mean that they eat many different types of food, specifically in the categories of meat and plants. Now let's take a look at the next sentence, number two. It's not a good idea to procrastinate before a test. The more you delay, the less time you have to study. Hmm, the word procrastinate is not a word I am familiar with. However, I can search this sentence as well as the sentence that comes after it to better understand what the word procrastinate could mean. Let's start with the sentence that the word procrastinate is in. It's not a good idea. Hmm, does procrastinate mean that it's not a good idea? I don't think so. Let's see the words that come after the word procrastinate. Before a test. Those words don't help me too much other than know that the action of procrastinating happens before you're supposed to do something. Maybe the next sentence will give us some better clues. The more you delay, the less time you have to study. Well, I see the word study in this second sentence, and I know that you're supposed to study for a test, specifically before a test. So procrastinating could have something to do with studying. What else was in that second sentence? The more you delay, the less time you have. So the word procrastinate could mean delay because it's not a good idea to procrastinate because then you have less time to study. So that must mean that the word procrastinate means to delay or put off doing something. It would definitely not be a good idea to put off studying before a test. Now let's read the third example. Muriel pivoted on the ice, and as she turned, her skate blades flashed in the light. Now it's your turn to search the sentence for context clues. Pause the video and work through this sentence in order to make your best guess or inference as to what the word pivoted could mean. Now that you've taken some time to look through this sentence for context clues, let's talk about it. After the word pivoted in this sentence, we continue on and read, as she turned, her skate blades flashed in the light. The word pivoted must mean to turn because we see twice a movement that she does. 
Once is the action. She pivoted. The second one is that she turned. Both of these are connected in this sentence, so they must be synonyms for one another. This helped us understand what the word pivoted means.